Ryerson men's hockey, a Thursday night game versus the Brock Badgers, a busload of fans came out to support the Rams, and of course, Eggy was there to lead the pack. Ryerson looking for their fourth win in five games, Louis Georges in the net for the Rams. First period, the action taking place at both ends of the rink. Keep your eyes on Marcus Booth. He walks in all alone and scores. 1-0 Ryerson. Nearing the end of the first, Ryerson gets a chance for a two-goal lead, but Brox Yetman makes the save. Second period, Ryerson attacking early, but Brock attacks back, looking for that tying goal. They keep Louis George very busy, but just can't get it in. He makes some spectacular saves in the second. Midway through the frame, check out the moves of Steve Mullen. He maintains the puck. No one can touch him. He beats George and ties it up at one. Gets the Badgers on the board. Third period. Ryerson trailing by one with an early Brock goal. But at exactly six minutes in, Josh McNair gets his fourth of the season and makes it an even game. Then on a breakaway, it's Greg Payne. He scores, gets his first of the season. It's 4-2 Ryerson at this point. Take another look. The puck just squeaks through Yetman. Ryerson would get one more, and with a three-goal cushion, George has every reason to smile as the Rams make it a 5-2 final. Ryerson coming off a two-game road trip gets its fourth win in five games. Five Rams players recorded goals in this contest, and George made 27 saves. This win made it six on the season for Ryerson, beating last year's win total of five. Yeah, it almost woke us up. We came in uh, into the dressing room in the third or uh, second intermission, told ourselves we had to wake up and go out and play our game, just put pressure on their D and keep skating. We... Uh, seemed like we stopped skating, and that's when they put pressure on us, and uh, that's when we came out in the third and started uh, to do what we do. Well, I, their D gave the puck up to uh, Smalls, and I just took off after I pinned the, the D, and I got my breakaway. I kind of misshot it, but uh, I got a lucky break, and it went in. Well, we knew coming in that they were a good hockey team. We're, we don't really take anyone lightly, so for them to come in, yeah, they definitely stole the momentum, and the first thing we have to do is try and get it back, right? Um, and luckily we got a nice pass and a goal and moved on from there. That was huge and for me I was on there, I was sitting in the box so to watch that go down was absolutely something nice. You know there were two good hockey teams playing out there and I thought it was end-to-end -end action. Uh, no one team was dominating but then I thought you were right they seemed to get hungrier, um, put us back on our heels a little bit, maybe we weren't skating as well as we should have especially early in the third. Um, but then I felt, you know, we're, we're a determined team. It seems uh, we're over the hurdle that even if we get down, we still feel we got an opportunity to win. And, and they showed it tonight with four unanswered goals. It would be so much better if we were close to campus uh, because I think most people agree when they see a university hockey game for the first time, um, they can't believe how good the hockey is. And, uh, you know, there's some pretty good skill out there and there's some guys that have pretty, played at a pretty high level of hockey. So it's, it was a pretty entertaining hockey game I felt tonight. And I really appreciate anybody that came out here and supported us tonight. It's great. And uh, the people that did the work to get the bus and get the students out here, I think it's fabulous.